What is up, boys? My name is Rumor, and today we are making an infinite villager breeder for Minecraft 1.13. This thing produces a ton of villagers by villagers farming and breeding through the resources they get from this small plot. Now, how we're going to build this thing is we're going to need 60 fences, 11 torches, 31 trap doors, 6 doors, 2 water buckets, 1 wooden hoe, and 26 crops. That would be wheat, carrots, or potatoes. Now for the transporting system, we're going to want a minecart, or however many minecarts you want. It's going to be one minecart per villager, one lever, two chests, one hopper, a dispenser, one redstone dust, one detector rail, two normal rails, and then two power rails. And then of course for the farm you're going to want three villagers. First what we're going to want to do is you're going to get a 9 by 10 area, then one block in from the outside, you're going to place a dirt pad like this. Then in the center, basically, two blocks in from there, you're going to place a water bucket which is going to hydrate all of these blocks which you're going to till. Next what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to dig right down here three blocks. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to dig in this direction. One, two, three, and then another layer right there. You're going to place a torch back there and then two layers of doors going like this. Then you're gonna wanna place a ladder going up from there, like this, one block above it, so that the villager you put in here will not be able to escape. Then place your trap doors like this. This will provide sunlight for the villager down below so that he is a functioning village. Okay, next what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna put the fences around it. So this is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fences by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fences. So you're just going to want to square this in. Okay, once you're done putting up all those fences, you're going to put some torches up since this is probably going to be in survival and you do not want mobs spawning inside of this. So just even them out thoroughly so that no mobs can get after that we are going to pick the exit spot for me my exit spot is going to be right over here dig a few blocks down and then just do an outline once you got your two block deep tunnel dug you are going to want to find the opposite side of your exit which mine is right here then go and place a water bucket right over there you're going to follow this water and then right where it ends, you're going to dig a block down and then continue it this way until it meets up in the corner on both sides. Your end result should look something like this. Filtering system that is going to make sure that only baby villagers is going to come out and that you're going to keep all your adults in is going to work a little bit like this. You're going to have a fence built up right here then you're going to surround your farm like so how this thing works is a villager cannot get through this because they are just too big but once the little baby villager spawns he's just the right size to walk around fall down go down the stream and be picked up by our transporting system next step what we're going to do is we're going to place the crop that we have chosen along these tilled soil blocks once you have that complete you're going to want to get your two villagers in here one of them has to be a brown coat, coat like you see here. Then one of them can be any villager you want. Then down here, you're going to spawn your other villager who is going to detect this door. It doesn't matter what type of coat he has. Now that we have our farm complete, we're going to build the transportation system that's going to pick up the baby villagers that slide right down there. First, we're going to dig down three blocks in an L shape, as you can see right here. Then we're going to place a lever right down there with a power rail going this way, a rail going this way, and then have it building up. And place a power rail right there, then a detector rail right here. Next, we're going to have a dispenser that's pointing in this direction to this power rail, a piece of redstone dust, and then a hopper going into this dispenser, and then two chests. 
next we're going to put down our minecart, which is going to bounce up and down like you can see. That is key for this design. Next, you're going to power this rail right here. Then you're going to dig down three blocks, put a power rail right here, and then you're going to power that power rail. And then next, you're going to have a normal rail leading out from that with a, another normal rail, another normal rail, and then have it go off to wherever you want your selection area to be. Thank you both so much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, and smash that subscribe button if you really enjoyed this. And I will see you bros in the next video. Bye-bye.